Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to my channel. I am in a different location than I normally am, as you can probably tell. I am in the hospital with Oliver. You can probably hear some of the machines kind of making noise in the background, so I apologize for that, but it is what it is. And you can likely hear him talking. <laughs> so I just wanted to hop on and make this video for two reasons. The first being so that we can have reminders and memories of the things that we've gone through in the past uh, so that we can look back on these situations in the future and realize the things that we've uh, gone through and that we've overcome. And secondly, if we can ever provide any kind of inspiration or encouragement to other people we want to be able to do that as well. I first thought Oliver wasn't starting to feel well on Tuesday night this past week. He was uh, pretty tired and had gotten uh, developed a fever. But then he slept well that night and seemed fine Wednesday morning, so I sent him to daycare. And when I picked him up Wednesday from daycare, she said that he hadn't really eaten a whole lot of lunch and um, he drank a bit, but not as much as he normally does. Wednesday night was a little bit more rough, but I woke up Thursday morning with a migraine myself and figured since I was gonna stay home, I would just keep him home with me. So we both took uh, Victor to daycare and we came home, or we went home and went back to bed. And then the next thing I knew it was 2.30 in the afternoon and I figured we better get up or we're, neither of us are gonna sleep tonight. So I went and I got him from his bed and he was just really lethargic. His nostrils were moving when he was breathing and he was, I call it body breathing, where he just, that kind of, kind of breathing. His respiration rate was pretty high. Decided to take him into Emerge. We got in here on Thursday around supper time. His oxygen level was only around 87 and typically it should be in the high 90s, like 98 to 100 really. Well, they took us in right away. They've always been so good here. Every time that I've taken Oliver in, we've never had to wait long. They've always been, been very prompt with us to get him the help that he's needed. Uh, so they took us in, they had the respiratory therapist called um, fairly quickly, had him put on uh, like high flow on his nose, had blood taken, a chest x-ray, like all just bang, bang, bang. After the chest x-ray and all the blood work and all that kind of stuff, it was determined that he had pneumonia, poor fella. So his right lung was all congested and filled with stuff. They uh, put him on an IV. He was a little bit, uh, uh, like his body had a little yellow tinge to it. Um, so we got him on some IV fluids and two different antibiotics, hooked up to all the monitors. We were probably fully admitted within, oh, four to five hours of being here, which was really great. So we've been down here in the PEDS unit and they take great care of us. Well, the first night was rough. He was up every hour. Uh, typically he has to sleep a certain way whenever he's in here because of all of the things that are attached to him. And so when he can't roll and all that kind of stuff, it's a little bit irritating. So he was up of it every hour and I would just have to get up and kind of soothe him and stuff. And yesterday, uh, thankfully my mom was able to come and stay with him for a bit so I could go home and shower and get a change of clothes. I came back for the night. Last night uh, was a little bit better. He was up just every couple of hours. And uh, he was a little cranky this morning. Um, and then mom came to watch him again for a bit. And I went out and did a little bit of Christmas shopping. And now today which is, it's December 14th, and today is actually Oliver's second birthday. Um, so two years ago today, it's it's 3.30 now, so I wasn't even in labor yet. <laughs> but he was, he came just a few hours later. Anyway, so uh, this afternoon he's much better. He's sitting up and he's rolling around on his bed. Uh, he's babbling a lot, um, so much more like his normal self. 
Uh, he'll still be here probably for another couple of days while all of the machines are kind of weaned off of him. Um, but it's been rough. <laughs> Last night he was cranky from like five until like eight o'clock and I mean yeah that's only three hours but by the end of it I was just ready to cry because he was so miserable and there was nothing I could do to soothe him. That just breaks my heart. But I'm so thankful that he is, uh, he's up and he's talking and he's clapping his hands and he's blowing bubbles and all that kind of stuff today. We're doing well. And he just pulled out his high flow. All right, I got his high flow fixed. Here he is now. He's doing better. Oh, oh, you're talking, are you? Oh, Oliver, can you do this? Oliver, Oliver, do this. He's like, not today, Mom. <laughs> Have fun, eh? Yeah. A long couple of days, but things are getting better. And I am so thankful for that. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, my friends. Bye.